Good morning, guys. Um, forgive me if I sound a little nasal. I have a cold, but I just wanted to share this wisdom that I got from the Holy Spirit this morning. So I'm actually learning about wisdom in James chapter 3. And in verse 13, it says, Who is wise and understanding among you? By his good conduct, let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. So the wise show their works in the meekness of wisdom. Now, my commentary says that meekness in Greek is translated into the word gentleness and is actually considered a weakness by the Greeks. But Jesus elevated it to be a primary Christian value, to be gentle is a primary Christian value. And it says meekness comes not from cowardice or passivity, but rather from trusting God and therefore being set free from anxious self-promotion. And so I was sitting here and I was just reading that. By his good conduct, let him show his works. Show his works in the meekness of wisdom, in the gentleness of wisdom. And I started thinking about the world today and how we're, w the world today views gentleness still as weakness, right? Because we're told if you want to get something, you need to strive for it. You need to fight for it, right? You need to go after it. But this is telling you that if you're wise and uh, you need to demonstrate your works in gentleness from wisdom, and so that gentleness of wisdom comes from trusting God, like it says in my commentary. And then I started thinking about our walks with God. And the Holy Spirit brought a slingshot to my mind. And so he started explaining to me that when we're waiting on God for a promise, right? We're walking with God. Every time we experience a setback, it's our opportunity to determine whether we're going to follow the ways of the world, which is we're going to fight for our promise and figure out a solution, or we're going to trust God. And so every time we choose to trust God, we are breaking off that selfish ambition and being stretched towards meekness, towards a gentleness, right? Because when you learn to fully trust God, in your life, you develop such a peace that will sustain you in any situation. And that's the gentleness that is being talked about in verse 13. That's the wisdom that you demonstrate in your works. When you, de when you develop this full trust in God that no matter what happens, no matter how things go, you know that he has your best interest at heart and that when the time is right, he will put you into the places he wants you to be. He will fulfill the promises that he has given you. And, and so that is essentially what it's like being on a slingshot. Think about it. If you're it, with every setback, you keep being pushed back to the point that you're ready. And then you're catapulted forward into what God has called you to. And, and I just was like, thank you, God. Thank you, God, that things did not go the way I wanted and that, you know, I've had to sit in this period of waiting because it's brought me wisdom. It's brought me meekness. It's, and, and I know I need these things to steward well where God is taking me because I, like, guys, think back to when God gave you the promise, who you were when you re first received that promise and look at where you are now. Look at all the wisdom you've gained. Look at how much your, your mindset has changed. How much you stopped looking to yourself and started looking at God for your situations. None of this would have been gained, would have been learned if God gave you the promise as soon as he gave, like if he fulfilled it as soon as he gave it to you. You wouldn't have gained all this wisdom, all this peace, all this understanding. So I wanted to share this because I know that Sometimes you can get so anxious in the waiting. Like you're just like, I just want to see it. But understand that every part of the journey has purpose. 
And this waiting period is the preparation period so that you can steward well where God is catapulting you to. Because if you don't have these tools, this if you don't know and experience these uh, these lessons for yourself, when you get there, you're going to crash and burn. Because think about it, like being on a slingshot, right? If you just slightly stretch the slingshot and then you throw it, it doesn't go far, right? Whatever you're trying to throw. So if God only had you experience one setback and then all of a sudden you got your promise, do you really think that you would have the wisdom and the trust in God to keep going further? No. As soon as you experience a setback in this new season, you're going to run back to your old ways of trusting in yourself and you're going to end up right back where you started. So God wants to make sure that when he catapults you, that you you keep going. He doesn't want you to just flop in your first setback, right? And so this is why we experience these hardships as we're waiting and we experience these disappointments. It's not because God wants to be cruel and he's just like, he's like, eh, not yet, not yet. No, no, you don't deserve. No, he's not doing that. He's preparing us. He knows how bad you want to see this come to pass. He knows how much it matters to you, but he also want, has your best interest at heart and he wants to see you succeed. So he's going to get you to the point. He's going to stretch you to the point where you're no longer looking at your self-promotion. You're no longer anxious about how you need to figure something out. But your first response is, let me go to God. When things aren't working out, when, when things look opposite, he wants you to get to the point that your first response is, let me go to God and let me see what he says. And whatever God tells you that you're going to trust and go in that direction. Because he knows that that is the true way to success. That is wisdom, trusting in God. And so I just pray that this little nugget of wisdom really encourage you guys to embrace this waiting period. I know that we're all anxious to see it because God keeps saying it's coming. It's coming soon. It's here. It's now. He's, it's going to come to fruition. So we're all just like on our toes waiting to see it come to pass. But Don't cut short these lessons that you're learning in these last moments on the waiting period. Let God fully fulfill what he's doing in you in this hour and embrace it. Keep learning. Keep allowing God to deposit in you everything he needs to so that you are fully prepared for where he's catapulting you to. So that when you get there, nothing can waver your faith. So I love you guys with the love of Christ and I pray that this just be a message that really helped you guys. Until next time.